Good day, class. Welcome to Unit Standard 119457. In this unit standard, we will interpret and use information from text. This unit standard is made up of four sessions. In the first session, we will use a range of reading and viewing strategies to understand the literal meaning of specific text. We will start off by addressing unfamiliar words. We will briefly explore a few techniques that you can use to understand the meaning of certain unfamiliar words in a piece of writing or part of a verbal conversation. The order in which the words are placed have a major impact. We can use the syntax to give us a clue to the meaning of an unfamiliar word. Another useful strategy for trying to understand what an unfamiliar word is or what an unfamiliar word means is the word attack skills. Word attack skills refer to looking at the unfamiliar word in its context and trying to see what you can work out from the context and the syntax and any other clues such as capital letters to help you understand the word. A complex term is a word made up of more than one word in order to combine two ideas together. The context in which the word is used will help you in the term means. A colloquialism is an informal word or phrase that is more usual in conversation than in formal speech or writing. For instance, saying, I am beat, instead of, I am tired. Slang is a form of informal language that is casual. Slang words are not suitable for formal context. Slang can be exclusive to a certain group of people who deliberately create and use it to exclude outsiders. We use colloquialism and slang in our daily speech, in emails and other forms of written communication, but should refrain from using it in formal settings. Jargon is a language that is used by a particular group of people in a specific profession that might not be understood by people in other professions. Ambiguous words are words that have more than one meaning. Let's look at the difference between summarizing and paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is to rephrase and simplify text so that it can be understood by anyone. Summarizing is to give a shortened version of the conversation or text while stating the main points. In order to paraphrase and summarize, we need to be able to separate the main ideas from the supporting evidence used as examples or additional material. Graphic representations are a form of non-verbal communication which tells us information at a glance and can be more effective than words. Graphic communication can make use of devices like pictures, drawings, photographs, aerial photographs, mind maps, maps, schema, bar graphs, pie charts, illustrations, cartoons, and diagrams. An illustration is a picture that complements a text. It can be a drawing, photograph, or a diagram that accompanies and complements a printed, spoken, or electronic text. A photograph is a picture that is captured using a camera which provides a permanent record of visible objects. Aerial photography refers to a type of picture that is taken from elevated platforms or even from an aircraft or drone, and it provides the top view of an area captured. A picture can be a drawing or a painting on paper, canvas, or any other surface it represents a recognizable form or object. A drawing is an outline picture made with a pencil, pen, or crayon, usually consisting of lines, shading, and sometimes color. A bar graph is a graphic representation where vertical or horizontal bars or columns represent some information. The length of the bar tells us the size of the illustrated item. A pie chart is a graphic representation of data in the form of a circle or pie, which is divided into wedges. Pie charts are relatively easy to understand 
and are popular ways of graphically representing numerical data to the public. A diagram and a schema are simple drawings showing the basic shape, layout, or workings of something. A map is a visual representation that shows all or part of the Earth's surface with geographical features, urban areas, roads, and other details. A cartoon can refer to a sequence of drawings that tell a short story or are humorous published in a newspaper or magazine. We have come to an end of our first session. We will continue with the second session after a break.